How does a car drive itself? An analogy that we like to make when you ask is think about how a human works. If you think about your eyes, your ears, and your nose as the sensors, the same thing happens with vision and radar and laser on the vehicle. Everybody's worked really, really hard to get here. This is an amazing opportunity for us. This is gonna be in the history books, I'm certain. It will be a fantastic trip for me also because I'm, uh, I've never done it. I've never driven through the US. It'll be fantastic. I'll be excited to see DC and New York. Something like the classic American road trip. It's a little bit different this time though, right? Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, we made it to LA finally. Very good day. We just arrived after sunset, but perfect. This morning was also uh, quite good. We left Hollywood early. Temperatures building up, but a uh, lot of traffic. Car performed perfectly. Thus far, we've had moderate temperatures as we cross California. And as we traverse through Phoenix and onwards through the rest of the Southwest, the temperatures are gonna continue to increase and we'll have a good test of the thermal system of the vehicle. Next stop, El Paso, Texas. Beautiful day here in Arizona. We can't leave here without some python jerky. Today we're starting off on the longest leg of the trip from El Paso to Dallas. It's about 650 miles. We got a late start because believe it or not, we had a hard time finding a gas station here in El Paso. We arrived last night in Dallas. The engineers go through a logic and uh, refresh how the, the computer systems are, are working. It's all going as expected. We'll refresh the team with new uh, engineers from Silicon Valley. And so you steer? We'll, no, we don't steer. You don't steer. But it has sensors. Okay, so y'all came through Kilmore, Texas, just so I could see this car on my birthday. Yesterday on the trip from Dallas, we ran into a little bit of rain, which was the first we've had on the trip. Everything's still going pretty well. This technology is one of the most exciting and promising technologies that's coming out. Being able to go across the country, I never thought I'd get to this level this early in my career. As an automotive engineer, this is one of the coolest things I could be doing right now. We've just gone over 3,000 miles. You know, everything's gone very well. We're heading up to DC. It's our last long leg of the trip.
what we're really learning is the more human side of the car. How does the car behave in traffic? How does the car behave with other people around you? So, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I think it's, it's one of the, the best things in my life. We had never put our vehicle through that and we made it. Can't get much better than that. It actually worked better than we had, had thought and it exceeded our expectations, I think.